So hello and welcome to the part seven of the grade 10 exam question analytics video. So in this video, we will give you one of the most common topics in exams that can either pass or fail students. One of the most common exam topics is linear graphs and particularly on Cartesian coordinates. Questions on this topic appeared in year 2020 year 2021 and year 2022 exams. So in this analytic video, we will give you the importance of applying or using Cartesian coordinates with these questions. So let's have a look at 2020 exam, question number 37 and 38. Here the two questions are asking us to first find the two intercepts, the X and Y intercepts, and then find the equation of the straight line using the coordinates of the two intercepts. So from our analytics, we have identified that there are three important points to consider when answering or doing the exam preparations. The first point is the provision of the graph. Please take note that there are some exam questions where graph is not provided, and students are tasked to find the intercepts using other methods, so it is important that you take note. The second point is, Two points from question 37 helps or leads to answering question 38. And finally, the third point is to use the two-point gradient formula to find the equation of the straight line. Now take a moment to look through the two questions. So let's have a look at year 2021 exam question number 37 and 38. Here the two questions are asking us to name the shape form by joining the points and also find the gradient between the two points. Again, from our analytics, we have identified that the graph and the coordinates are already given. However, with question 37, we are tasked to utilize the content knowledge on identifying the basic shapes to name the figure when all points are joined. Note that question 37 is given in such a way to analyze the student's comprehension level, more like testing their reasoning capability. However, with question 38, students are required to use the gradient formula to calculate the behavior between the two points. Now take a moment to read through the questions. Finally, let's look at year 2022 exam, question number 36 and 37. Apparently, we could see that the setting is similar to the last two exam questions that we discuss. However, question 36 is asking us to find the midpoint between the two points. So all we need to do to answer question 36 is to use the midpoint formula to find the coordinates. So for now, take a moment to look through the questions. So to conclude, we could see that from the last three exams, the key concept is to test the student's comprehension level to utilize the Cartesian coordinates. So to help you prepare for the exam, please consider the key areas where coordinates are used. And these are, one, finding the gradient or slope, two, finding the equation of straight line, three, determining the distance between two points, four, finding the midpoints, five, naming the figures or shapes, and lastly, finding the point of intersection between two or more lines. So that concludes the exam analytics for now. Thanks for watching and see you on the next part. If you like our analytics, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share our video.